people sometimes come look at the design of the program, look at what we do, and there are certainly some things that could be replicated. But one thing that can't be replicated is the missionaries who serve all across the church. Um, I want to uh, share a quote with you first from Elder Clark about who we serve in BYU Pathway, which is very different than the students we serve here on this campus of BYU-Idaho. After the Pathway program had been running for a year or so, the missionaries at the Mesa, Arizona site declared, this program will never work. I then asked, do you have any young adults in your area who are struggling in their lives, who are not making progress? He said, oh yes, there are thousands of them. My response, Pathway is for them. Think with me for a minute about the, these invisible um, or, uh, or what we often call the hidden many. 45% of the U.S. church has some degree, uh, you know, okay? And then another 40% never even went to college. These are the truly invisible, the true hidden many, where they just said, I didn't think I could do it. No one encouraged them to go. All of these things have a fit between them that increasingly make BYU Pathway very different. What are we, what are in most universities do you spend most of your freshman year doing? What general education? It's not just that you have a degree. The university has held back the job relevant curriculum until the junior and senior year. The BYU Pathway Certificate First Model says we're gonna put into the first year immediately relevant job skills training. By the way, our placement rate for the certificates is over 70%. So when someone asks you, why are we starting with certificates? I hope you'll think about this chart. Our persistence rates on students before they get their certificate is about 67%. But what do you think happens to our persistence rate for students who complete a certificate? It goes up. Look at this jump, 85%. But then they get a better job set at a rate of 70%, and all of a sudden they say, oh, got it. And now the relationship between more education and not just spiritual but temporal blessings becomes much more intuitive for the student to keep going. And that's not us having to explain it, it's the student. Ann Hagen Rocher says, many people who drop out early for whatever reason, everyone thinks they're gonna finish, but many who drop out for whatever reason have nothing to show for their education except the money they're out. President Nelson cut me off midway and said this to me, <clears throat> and I'd share it with all of you. He said, Clark, you aren't just educating individuals. You're changing the church. I hope you understand this is a sacred responsibility.